coming back to the questions which are asked or probable questions which can be asked in competitive examinations. Uh, you might have a question like this. The pros and cons. You are expected to give a meaning for this idiom and you would be given options. Right. So, let me read uh, the options given for you, good and evil, former and latter, foul and fair, for and against. So, the pros and cons, you are expected to narrow down the most appropriate meaning for the idiom. Any guesses what the answer would be, the pros and cons? This is a question asked for a probationary officer in bank examinations. Let me give the answer. The answer for pros and cons is good and evil. Media, the pros and cons, you would have heard this term, right? Social media or you can say cell phone, the pros and cons, what are the good and the bad of using a cell phone? Right. So, this is the meaning of pros and cons. Let me give one more example for you. To bite the dust. So, this is the idiom and I am going to give you four options from which you are going to narrow down to the exact meaning. To learn a lesson. to be ashamed to be defeated to work hard yes try to find out the answer to bite the dust, right? The meaning, the exact meaning for to bite the dust would be to be defeated. Can I give you an example like this? The enemies had to bite the dust in the battle, right? They had to be, they were defeated in the battle, right? So, I think you would have got an idea as to how your question is going to be in the competitive examinations, but wait, I have some more examples for you. See now here, if you had seen, just the idiom is given, am I right? Just the idiom is given and you had to find the meaning, but you might have um, cases where a whole sentence with an idiom is given. Um, yeah, let me give an example. Sunil saw Sony make a dry face. This is your idiom. Your idiom would be mostly highlighted. It can be, it would have been underlined or italicized, right? And you are also given an option abuse, sick, cry. 
dry with pain. Show disappointment. Are you able to find the answer? So, we saw Sony make a dry face. So, what does making a dry face mean? It means you are right, showing disappointment. So, you should be prepared as your questions can be directly in the form of uh, idioms with the options given or sentences with the idioms in it and the options given, right. Uh, let me give uh, one more example for you like this. Mr. Tom sold his house as it was a white elephant. Any guesses what the idiom is here? The idiom used here is white elephant, right. So, I am going to give you the options and you are going to tell me which answer is going to be the exact meaning of the white elephant. Expensive, useless, big, rare. So, now you tell me, Mr. Tom sold his house as it was a white elephant, as it was expensive, useless, big, rare. Tell me, which one do you think is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is useless. So, a white elephant, as I said, idioms, right? They don't go for uh, don't go for the uh, literal meaning of any idiom because if I'm going to say white elephant and the meaning is going to be useless, they are in no way related to each other, right? So, always stick to the idiomatic meaning of any idiom, uh, idioms or phrases, and not to the literary meaning, right? So, Mr. Tom sold his house as it was a useless one for him. I hope I had given you a thorough insight of all the idioms and phrases, of course, not all, but a few of all the hundreds and hundreds of idioms and phrases. But remember, you will be able to master all the idioms and phrases only if you are going to use them in your day to day language. Keep reading and keep practice, practicing to master the idioms and phrases.